Everyone loves an underdog story. Dr. Ruja. Crypto Queen. Crypto Queen. It's the face of one kind. Number one. The mastermind. Unlikely genius women who overlook changing the world. The smartest person in every room she walked into. A very interesting individual, very charming, very polite, very knowledgeable. She's a very nice person to work for. The one who wants to change the lives of men. Our creator, our founder, our lovely Dr. Ruja. But this is not one of those stories. A Bulgarian woman has been placed on the FBI's 10 most wanted list after defrauding investors of $4.5 billion and then vanishing. She disappeared into thin air. She hasn't been seen or heard from since. In October 2017, when this shocking news came out, I asked myself, how? How did she manage to fool so many? How did she pull off such a colossal scam and vanish without a trace for so long? How sh she managed to pull this off? I mean, in some strange way, this is a remarkable achievement to have fooled so many people and then to have vanished off the face of the earth. This was becoming almost like a religion. Over the past few months, my quest for answers led me down an unexpected path. Instead of finding clarity, I stumbled upon a story so haunting that it left people broken. How much did you lose and what effect has it had on your life? I personally lost 10,000 euros and friends um, collectively one loss has been 250,000. I told my brother, I told my sister, and that totaled up to £56,000. I lost all of my money. On top of that, I had to keep borrowing money from credit card companies and, and the banks. Uh, it was a really, really sad, embarrassing and depressing moment of my life. Her fraud reached all over the globe, in every corner of the globe. And we already wrote history, but this is just the beginning. Two thousand nine. That's where this whole story begins. Psst. Wanna buy some secret stuff? Wanna engage in a transaction with some other consenting adult that you don't want the government to know about? That is easier now, thanks to Freedom 2.0, which brought us something called Bitcoin. Brother, can you spare a Bitcoin? Bitcoin. You never heard of them a few weeks ago. Now everybody's talking about them. But is it a, is it a currency? I don't know. Or is it? more like a stock or is it a tulip bowl or is We're it just debate that. stupid <laughs> have you ever heard of bitcoin it's a digital currency that's gaining popularity it exists only online tell you the truth i, I honestly don't get it why not use regular dollars well, i'll tell you what i i don't know what to do exactly with bitcoin and they don't look a bit like these coins matter of fact they're kind of in the ethernet what are they bitcoin suddenly became the topic that everyone was talking about Satoshi created something like virtual money, and subsequently vanished, but he left behind a blueprint for a whole new type of currency that seemed tailor-made for the internet age. This and is the clouds are opening up to herald the arrival of Satoshi, <laughs> Cyber Christ! Christ is back, and he's got Bitcoin! Dr. Ruja was one of many who were attracted to this mania. With her education in law and economics, she had a solid understanding of financial systems and market dynamics. Education background is law and economics, so I have been always very interested in everything with finance. I was always very, very interested in cryptocurrency, and I was uh, working with McKinsey, and I was doing their very traditional and very big sector, uh, banking and insurance. So Bitcoin somehow popped up and we were discussing it. Working for McKinsey wasn't the problem. The problem was her ambition. From a young age, Ruja told friends she would be a millionaire by 30. She desperately wanted to be rich. My parents are not rich. Believe in yourself and then miracles can happen. So, she came up with an idea to fulfill her dream. Instead of trying to make money by buying and selling these peculiar new coins, she decided to go one better and create her own cryptocurrency. When I was with colleagues and with friends, I remember one evening when we started discussing Bitcoin again and I was just like explaining a bit what is it, how does it work, what is good, what is bad about it. And at one point of time, one of my friends said, why don't you start actually something like this yourself? She believes that she took existing ideas about Bitcoin and turned them into something ordinary people could use, a cryptocurrency for the masses. Dr. Ruja promised that it would be faster, smoother and easier to use. Bitcoin is not a coin for everyone. It's the right coin for some people. 
but not for everyone. It is not for people who are not very knowledgeable and very good IT specialists. It's not a coin for everyone. See, I wanted to create a cryptocurrency for the mass market, for everyone. One coin is easy to use, one coin is for everyone. In 2014, she launched one coin. No one was sure whether it was going to take off or not. It started off very slowly. Early in the process, she met a man named Sebastian Greenwood, a master of multi-level marketing. This meeting would change everything. One, two, three, applause please! Hi everybody, this is Sebastian Greenwood, your 001 master distributor of OneCoin. This guy was such an exceptional salesman that he transformed the scene in just a month, attracting a billion euros in investments to OneCoin. That's how rapidly it took we off. We are very, very proud to bring one coin to you. I want to see your success together with me on this plane. As one coin grows, Dr. Ruja herself grows with it. She traveled the world, speaking at huge concert arenas. She speaks at an event hosted by The Economist magazine. Thank you very much for the invitation to be a speaker at The Economist Forum today and to speak about the future of money. She is seen at all the lavish parties, hanging out with politicians and wearing million-dollar necklaces. Her birthday party was held at the Victoria and Albert Museum. She had Tom Jones perform a private concert. And nobody, nobody can compare to us. We have today the most users, we are the biggest crypto reserve currency out there. And to everybody who tells me that I violate the philosophy of cryptocurrency, guys, we are a bigger community. We decide what the philosophy of cryptocurrency is. Huh? Within 18 months, 3 million people from 175 countries had invested approximately 4 billion euros into one coin. Everyone found this woman to be trustworthy. God, who is this girl? Towards the end of the summer of 2017, pressure was mounting on her as regulators around the world began investigating her company. As the scrutiny increased, Dr. Ruja decided to take drastic action. In October 2017, she boarded a flight from her home country Bulgaria to Athens, Greece, and vanished without a trace. In 2017, she grew suspicious of her American boyfriend, so she had his U.S. apartment bugged by corporate spies. When the secret recordings revealed that he was cooperating with the FBI, she disappeared into thin air. She immediately boarded a flight from Bulgaria to Greece with a security guard, not one piece of luggage. The security guard came back, but Ignatova didn't. She hasn't been seen or heard from since. What was one coin in the first place? Essentially, it wasn't really a cryptocurrency. It's an old-fashioned investment scam named after Charles Ponzi, the mastermind behind the original Ponzi scheme. The scheme takes money from new investors and using that investment to pay the old investors a bit of a return. It's borrowing from James to pay Paul, and then borrowing from Paul to pay Robert and so on and so forth. You keep that going for as long as possible, always taking a percentage for yourself. At the very top was Dr. Ruja. A million people bought Ponzi token, Monopoly money controlled not by computer code but by Dr. Ruja. The price of one coin was just a number invented by her. A number she would periodically increase to keep investors happy. Whatever coins you have on your account or in the mining, if you have 1,000 coins on your account and 1,000 in the mining, what we will do as a company, we will double the coins on your account. One coin is sold in the form of educational packages that contain tokens, which supposedly allow you to mine one coins. However, no actual mining occurs. The fundamental structure of cryptocurrency doesn't even exist in one coin. Each of these packages could cost anywhere from $100 to $200,000. Buyers were told that the money used to purchase these packages would be converted into one coin, which was guaranteed to increase in value. However, this promise turned out to be false. These buyers were also forced to become part of a network called One Life, and were often instructed to ignore outside critics. What are we all here for today? Show me the money. <laughs> People mind the Bitcoin and they became millionaires. So one coin is going through the same phase. Ignatova convinced investors in the US and around the globe to throw fistfuls of cash at her company. 
Many people have fallen prey to her scams, which promised instant wealth but ultimately left them empty-handed. Some of them even lost their houses. What effect has it had on your life? I personally lost 10,000 euros and friends um, collectively were lost has been 250,000 euros. It has been absolutely devastating. Um, for the last, since 2000, early 2016, when I first invested. I then told my mum, I told my brother, I told my sister, and that totaled, totaled up to 56,000 pounds. I lost all of my money. And then on top of that, I had to keep borrowing money from credit card companies and, and the banks. Yeah, it was a really, really sad, embarrassing and depressing moment of my life. Dr. Ruja's biggest advantage was her image. She presented herself as a visionary leader in the cryptocurrency space. Her confident and compelling speeches helped her gain the trust of investors. Her impressive academic background, sponsored content in Forbes magazine, and participation in an event hosted by The Economist further enhanced her credibility. These elements combined to build a strong persona that many investors found convincing, despite the underlying issues with OneCoin. What were you told about investing in OneCoin and what it could earn you? We were told um, that it would, it's the value of it once you purchased, they were packages, so a £5,000 package, when you bought it, it turned into a digital currency value of 48,000. That's how it was approached to you. Right. Um, Which sounds like an amazing... Financially life-changing. Yeah. Federal prosecutors describe OneCoin as one of the largest international fraud schemes ever perpetrated. She is now one of the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitives, alongside accused gang leaders and murderers. Since the FBI's list launched in 1950, She's one of just 11 women to have been included. Sort of two things really, it's trying to figure out where this woman is, which I mean, there are theories like you wouldn't believe about where she is, what's happened to her, and also trying to sort of uncover just how she, she managed to pull this off. I mean, in some strange way, this is a remarkable achievement to have fooled so many people and then to have vanished off the face of the earth. This was becoming almost like a religion. 